It's an admiration of sensual, sexual female bravery. Oh, yeah, in India? Yeah, in India. It's about fucking time. Yeah? They have a system. I just can't quite figure out how to, to work in it, and I want to work in it. I'm not a machine. You're screwing up the scenes. And if you can't hack it, quit. You know, the chop, 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 chop of India is not what Jen, 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 Jen wants to do. It's just so absurd. I'm making a movie about a fucking snake that turns into a woman who turns into a snake. I got a piece of shit over there with a Pamela Anderson shirt on it, and I'm having a nervous breakdown because, like, I can't have fun with it. It's absurd. Where's the joy? Well, how did it become this? I want to go home. Mr. Kurt Halfyard, today is the start of Hot Docs in Toronto. Are you excited? I am indeed. Excellent. And uh, we're here outside of the beautiful new Bluer Hot Doc Cinema, which is a blue ice project, according to that sign. Um, you feeling good about this year? I am feeling good. There's no super dominating movies like Project Nim or... Right. or Bobby Fischer Against the World, or or an Errol Morris movie, or, right. or whatnot. The Cove, but, or something. But because there's no dominating movie, there's just a lot of top tier stuff that's really exciting. Like I had no trouble saying, "Here's ten that right. I really want to see." Like right. I absolutely want to see. So. Right, right. And one of those ten you you just saw a preview screening for. Right? Is that right? I did indeed. Excellent. Which one's that? That was. I do not recall the director's <laughs> name, but I can give you the subject matter. It was a. Uh, it was called Despite the Gods. Despite the Gods. Okay. Well, save everything you're going to say for the uh, the review, which uh, will last one minute total. One shockingly <laughs> short minute. Let's see how this goes. You think you can do it? You're pumped. I'm, I'm pumped. Okay. Here we go. You've got one minute on the clock. Are you ready? I am. Despite the Gods, starting now. Okay, so Despite the Gods is a movie about Jennifer Lynch, who is David Lynch's daughter. And she, after Surveillance, which was a fairly big success, uh, she went to Bollywood to make a co-production horror film. Uh, and things went really, really badly for her. And, the, and Despite the Gods is a document Almost like a, what started out as a behind-the-scenes featurette, but turned into a very interesting thing of a director losing control of the project. And so you get to see lots of India, um, lots of their sort of system versus how Lynch wanted things to go. And you kind of grow and experience the pain and frustration, but ultimately a very interesting learned experience with Miss Lynch as she tries to make her film against the philosophies of her producers and various other things. The movie hiss itself that resulted is terrible, but the documentary is really good. <laughs> you pretty much got it. There we go. Right one minute. Maybe line. that's the challenge. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I can do it in one minute. Thank you.